Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to daisy chain your Qualtrics consent form, or if you have a survey, to your Pavlovia experiment. What you're going to need to do first is you're going to need to go to the Rutgers Qualtrics page. So if you're a Rutgers student, you have free access to Qualtrics. Uh, you can find that by going to it.rutgers.edu uh, slash Qualtrics. Once there, just go to the Qualtrics login, you'll enter your net ID and you'll enter your password and then you'll be taken to the Qualtrics homepage. And it will look something like this. Um, as you can see on the side, I have all of my projects here. So for our projects, what we're gonna do first is we're going to set up a new project. And you can do that by going here, navigating to projects, navigating to create project, navigating to survey from scratch, and then navigating to get started. And then you can name the project anything, but it should be named after your project. So for, let's name it sample experiment for this video and then create project. Now you're ready to start um, creating your consent form uh, or your survey items. So what we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna to want to take our consent form that we created a couple of weeks ago and we're gonna to wanna to put it into this block here. And what we're gonna to need to do is we're gonna to go to question type and we're gonna start off with multiple choice. And then what we're gonna to wanna to, going to want to do is in this field right here, we're gonna to wanna to copy and paste our consent form. So I've already done that in another project. So let's navigate to that. So here is what the consent form would look like when you paste it in there. Um, this is uh, formatted correctly. Um, so you're gonna to need to format it a little bit when you paste it in here, but it should look something like this. So you should try to preserve the, uh, the paragraph structure in your consent form. And then what we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna to wanna to put in two options here. Um, so we're gonna want a consent option and then do not consent option here. So once we have that, we're gonna to need to go to the survey flow of the project. So we can do that, click here. Um, I've already done this, but I'm going to um, start over again to show you how I built it. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to add two components here. So we're going to need to add a branch. So this is kind of an if-else statement. So if a particular response is selected, then it does something. So here we're going to want to use the consent question here. So if the participant selects consent, it's going to do something. And what we want it to do is we want the participant to be taken to our Pavlovia experiment. So what we're gonna to need to do is we're going to need to select the end of survey node, and then we're also gonna select another end of survey node. So if the participant consents, it's gonna to go to our Pavlovia experiment. But what happens if they don't consent and they select do not consent? Well, we're gonna have them be sent to the end of the experiment, thanking them for their time, and then they're not gonna participate in the study. So once the participant consents, they need to be taken to, an, um, uh, to our Pavlovia experiment. So to do that, we need to override our survey options and then we need to redirect it to our URL here. So to redirect to our URL, we're gonna to have to get our experiment URL. And to do that, what you're gonna to wanna to do is go to the Pavlovia dashboard and you're gonna to wanna to navigate to your experiment. Once you navigate to your experiment, you will see that there is a URL code after you select running and you can copy that. And then you're gonna to want to paste it into this direct to a URL box, something like this. Select okay. Uh, if they don't consent, you're gonna to wanna to customize it and you're gonna to want to have them go to a default end of survey message. They will not be directed to our experiment. And you're gonna to wanna to select okay. Uh, so that's pretty much it. So let's look at how this looks. So let's apply, let's go back to the main survey part and then let's preview it. Okay, so the participant clicks on the link that you send them and they're taken to here. Um, let's say that they consent to it. They press this button and then they're automatically redirected to this experiment on Pavlovia. And this might not run, but we're taken to this experiment. Okay, let's do this again. Let's say that they read the consent form and they don't want to participate. They select do not consent. Oh, we see that we thank you for your time spent taking the survey. Your response has been recorded. So 
they're uh, they're not going to be taken to the experiment proper. Um, so yeah, so this is how you would create your consent form and how you would link it to a Pavlovia experiment. Now you have to distribute the Qualtrics link to your participants. So they start at Qualtrics and then go to Pavlovia. To do that, you'd go to distributions. You go to anonymous link and you would copy this link here. And this is what you would send to your participants. So they start at Qualtrics and then they would go to Pavlovia from there. So again, this is how you daisy chain from Qualtrics and how you would input a consent form and have them consent and then go to a, uh, go to a Pavlovia experiment. Thank you.